Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be our July sneaks and specials and a what we have been warming because I have a lot of empties and I figured why not just go ahead and throw that towards the end of this video. So before we dive in, if you are only here for the empties, here is the timestamp of whenever that begins. But if you are new here, please subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you want to become a Wickless Charm VIP, the link to my Facebook group is down below. Okay guys, that's it. Let's go ahead and dive on in. So I wanted to do these videos together because I really need to do the empties video. And like, honestly, we didn't have a lot of sneaks um, for July. And I think that's because like right now, like in this month, like they're doing all of the um, like annual conventions for three regions and ours is actually the last week of July. So it's probably just because we're, we're going to be busy. Everybody is either at convention or prepping for a convention. Um, but this is what I have. So um, the specials for July, the host special is the same as the June special. So whenever you have an order of $350 or more that started in July, you actually can redeem the half price credits to get one or both of these exclusive warmers. So these are not available in the catalog. They're not in the clearance. They're not available in the US in region one period. So doing the party for July is actually the only way that you can get these and you can redeem a half price credit on them, making them each $25. And added on to that, we also have a join special. So if you have been thinking about partnering with Cincy, whether you want to become your own consultant or if you just wanna do orders every now and then to get your rewards and use it on whatever you want and get that little commission, or if you're really wanting to sign up to get some real income, on the side or maybe make this your full-time job one day we actually have a joint special going on in july only so this is only for the 99 dollars starter kits our standard kit where you can actually go online to wicklesscharm.com click the join tab and get yourself signed up so that we can get started right away the kit is the same as it has been this summer but you actually get some extra free items including a classic curve mug which is adorable i love mine you also get a pack of these Cincy wishlist notepads that you can use for home parties, host, however you want to use it, and it helps your customers pick out their order. You also get a 10 pack of the Cincy pins, also love these, a 5 pack of the Cincy LED keychains, which you can use for yourself or gift to a brand new downline or host, and you also get a Cincy Buddy blanket, which is the Valley the Valai Black Nose Sheep. I do not know if I am saying that correctly. But these buddy blankets are absolutely adorable and they're so soft. So that is the host and the join special for July. So we also have the scent and warmer of the month. So the warmer is the prismatic. I have this on our entertainment center in the living room. It's absolutely beautiful. I will have the video linked down below if you want the full details on the warmer and the scent. The scent is to heat and twilight. And I know, again, I might not be saying that correctly, but it's so good. I really love it. It's the summer version of Plum and White Woods. So if you love that fragrance, definitely try out the Tahitian Twilight. <laughs> so we also have the Disney 100th Anniversary Celebration Collection that launched on July 1st. Sadly, the warmer is officially out of stock, but the fragrance is still available and you can add the fragrance to your club if you fall in love with it. I actually haven't received mine in yet, but I'm super excited to smell it. And if it's if it's amazing, I will add it to my club for always get my bar. So the last thing that we actually have a date for on our consultant guide is the rugby collection. So this collection is returning on July 10th at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's coming with both of the warmers again and both of the waxes. So whether you are team all blacks or team wallabies, you can actually get game day ready for the, what is it called? The championship? The Super Bowl? It's not the Super Bowl. The World Cup. The so Rugby World Cup 2023. <laughs> so the bars and the warmers will be available individually and the All Blacks is big sparkling citrus issues a defiant challenge with a rush of cold mint and fur balsam. And the Wallaby Scentsy Bar is energized bergamot charges down the pitch supported by sage and cedarwood. These are both really woodsy and fresh and they, I mean it's been a while since I've had them but it really reminded me of since like the, the NHL fresh ice the DC Justice League, um, the Light Side of the Forest, the Mandalorian, scents like that. So if you liked those scents, definitely give these a try. You don't have to be a rugby fan just to try the fragrances. Those will be eligible for Scentsy Club. And then both of the 
warmers also are returning for $70 each. The All Blacks warmer is show your team spirit with this rugby ball shaped warmer complete with the signature colors and silver fern of the All Blacks. And the Wallabies rugby warmer show your team spirit with this rugby ball shaped warmer adorned with the team's intricate First Nations artwork by Dennis Golding and the Wallabies logo all in iconic green and gold. So that launches on July 10th. Right now, we also have the voting period for Bring Up My Bar January 2024 up and live, and you can go and vote for your favorite fragrances to come back. These are all fragrances that haven't been back within the last five years. So I still haven't seen Pacific Sandalwood in it, but I still saw a lot that I was interested in trying because of most of these are scents that I haven't ever had before. So head to wicklesscharm.com, scroll down to, to see the link for Bring Up My Bar voting and get your votes in. So last but not least for July, like what I know, but we don't have a date. In the end of month live with Dan, he mentioned a Harry Potter collection. And so that is very intriguing because we actually have Harry Potter in our current catalog. So we have the Hogwarts Warmer, the Wizarding World scent pack and Scentsy Bar, and the Hedwig Scentsy Buddy. So hearing that we're supposed to have a Harry Potter collection coming, it makes me wonder, are we bringing back items? Are we adding new items? Are we doing a little bit of both? Maybe we're bringing back the Hedwig Warmer and the Platform 9 and 3 quarters. Um, or the Hogwarts houses, those waxes, the Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff. Um, maybe they're adding something new. Maybe we're getting something new. Oh, don't forget, we do have the little, the snitch in the catalog too. So we have that little buddy clip, but that's actually currently available. So, so hearing that we have a Harry Potter collection coming, I'm really excited. So I don't know when that is. Just stay tuned if you are a big Harry Potter fan like I am. Okay, so. Now, let's talk about my empties because I have been very lazy with organizing my empties bin lately. I have not been cutting them off to make them a little trading cards. We had Cabo and then Maddie was home for like two weeks just because of like Bible camps and stuff. And we just, this is a mess and it's full and I really need to get this going. I don't even remember what all I warmed with what. So we're just gonna go individually and we're gonna talk about it. So first on top, we have Mahalo Coconut. I actually did cut this one. We have Mahalo Coconut and I cut all of these. So maybe I'll warm these together. Mahalo Coconut with the Ocean Air and Coconut Water from the Summer Collection, the Sunshine State of My Collection. And then I also have Bonfire Beach with Coastal Sunset. And all four of these are actually cut. So I'm pretty positive that I warmed these all together. Um, Y'all know that Bonfire Beach is like one of my number one faves. Hands down, it always will be. And it is a perfect one to warm with Coastal Sunset and Kikui and Coconut, just FYI. The Ocean Air and Coconut Water is my favorite one from the Sunshine State of Mind collection. And it's actually still available and eligible to add to Scentsy Club. And if you watched my Instagram stories yesterday, before making this video, you know that I don't want you to be like me. Please don't forget to add your favorite Assistancy Club because I completely blanked and forgot to add my favorite Bring Up My Bar Waxes to Club. And I noticed that on July 1st. So literally the day after they went away, I realized that I didn't add to my club. So don't be like me. If you love scents, go ahead and add them. I don't know if I'm gonna add the ocean air and coconut water just because I wish it was a little bit stronger and long lasting, but it's definitely one that I'll, I'll grab a few kind of just to sit aside for maybe future summers whenever I really need a fresh scent like that. So really, really good. And if you love the summer collection, go ahead, add it to your club. I think I need to add the pineapple dragon freak one to my club because that one was one that's definitely unique and I loved a lot. Um, up next we have, I did actually go through a lot of my like secret satchel that doesn't exist um, because I did a garage sale and so um, I'm not going to speak more about that. So I just needed to really get through my secret satchel that doesn't exist. That's kind of a goal for me every um, season whenever, like I'm in the season, I try to go through wax because the wax it's doing nothing for you if it's just sitting there not being warmed and not being loved. So I actually warmed a bar of the White Amber in Silk. This was a very nice one. Um, and I warmed a bar of Sand Swept, which if you love Sand Swept, and if you're sad like I am that it did not return in the catalog, 
please comment down below because I was really upset. I also warmed a bar of Mango Matcha. This is a brand new release in the current spring and summer catalog. I really like it. I'm just not a huge mango fan. Like I like it, but I don't like absolutely love it. And it had a really great performance. I could definitely see this one coming back in a future catalog. So let me know your thoughts on this one down below. Um, next up we had cocoa lime. So this is actually one of my favorite spring and summer scents. This definitely will go into my club after, um, August because August is the last month they get your spring and summer scents because they will be retiring because the fall and winter catalog launches on September 1st. So this is definitely one that I absolutely love. The perfect coconut and lime combination will be going into my club hands down without a doubt. Also one that I love, but I don't know if I'm gonna club it. This is Star Apple and Freesia. This was actually in the Island Days collection the end of last summer, and it was one of my favorites from the collection, and I was really excited to see it back in the catalog because it definitely needed more attention. So very great fruity scent. If you want a good like Hawaiian summery fruity tropical scent, try star apple and freesia so it's it's really good it might go into my club it has a really great performance but it's always just so hard i try really hard to narrow down which scents have to go into my club just in case they don't return like the next season so i always have to think really long and hard about that um speaking of scents that i love that usually always goes into my club skinny dipping i remember the scent description this is this one it's dewy melon and green apple it's delicious it has a great performance it's one of those that is so fan favorited that it has to come back every spring and summer season but we don't know if it for sure will so it will for sure go into my club because i love it that much um if you do forget to add it to your club or if you just love bricks you can actually add skinny dipping to a cincy club subscription order as a brick year round just so just in case you didn't know that so um, oh, next we got Beach. This was in the Bring My Bar last month. Um, I don't think I was going to club this one if I hadn't forgotten to club. I don't think I was because like it's one that I really love, but it's not one that I have to, like I have to have. You know what I mean? So, but it's a really, really great one. So if you ever see it in a clearance update, I would grab some because it's a really good one to have for spring and summer seasons. Um, Southern Sweet Tea talking about scents that I needed to club that I forgot to. I wish I did. I'm so upset. I'm so upset with myself. Like how do I do this full time for six and a half plus years and forget out of a whole month of time span? Like how do I forget to edit my club? My, my mom was just everywhere in June. I definitely learned my lesson. Don't be like me. Edit your club. Southern Sweet Tea. Sadly, I love it. Meant to add it. But I forgot. Um, up next we have, let's see, which which ones are some more? Oh, I think I was planning on adding cherry vanilla. This was Bring Back My Bar too. Um, I've actually had this one some years in the past because it was coming back. It has come back like in multiple Bring Back My Bars in my last six years with Cincy. But it just, it was this time that I warmed it and realized like that is a great cherry fragrance. It's delicious, the performance is amazing. It's definitely one of my favorite cherry scents that I've ever had. So definitely meant to club it, but forgot it. <sighs> chiro Chiro, meant to club it, but forgot it. This is the perfect cinnamon sugar, classic, authentic Chiro. It literally smelled like the little Chiro station that was always in the hallways in the mornings in Cabo. I loved it. She made them homemade, fresh, every morning, like right in front of you, delicious. Not gonna talk too much about it because I'm really upset about it. Speaking of things to club, I have another ocean, air, and coconut water. I might add this to my, I don't know. Like, I just wish it was stronger. That's my thing. But this pineapple dragon fruit, this is the one I was talking about earlier. This is definitely gonna be the one that I add to my club. I'm gonna do that right after this video so that I don't forget because the scents are actually available now, but only while supplies last. So we don't know if they're just gonna randomly sell out one day. So do it before they sell out because once they sell out, you can't add it. So I warmed more of this. I really do like the orange one in the summer collection too. What is it? Tangerine and sugar cane. 
Um, I just haven't been reaching for it, but it's really good. So speaking of something good that I did remember to add a club, pink coconut. So this one and blue coconut beach were definitely one of my favorite or two of my favorites, like brand new top favorite scents from 2023. So very happy that I remembered to do this one in Blue Coconut Beach. So I'm really hoping that if you love coconut, you also did the same. Um, speaking of more coconut, a warm so coconut cotton, coconut cotton, y'all know. It's so good. I really miss the washer lifts in that one. That one was just from a secret sash that doesn't exist. Um, just to help make some room. Um, let's see. I don't remember what I wore this with. But cashmere pear was in the June at Bring Out My Bar. Um, another really great fragrance. I love it. I just wish it was stronger. So I knew that I definitely wasn't going to club this one. Um, but I really enjoyed having it back for a month because it's a really nice scent. Um, also, something that was back was My Wish. So this one was back for June. And I remember whenever we were building the house, it was also back for a Bring Out My Bar. And I had tried it. Even though like I had had it before in the past, but whenever I formed it a couple of years ago, I realized like how much I liked it because it had a really strong, like distinct performance. So I really, really enjoyed this one. So let me know what you think about this one down below. Um, that one and French Kiss, I fell in love with at the same time because they were both back as a Bring My Bar scent at the same time a couple of years ago. Um, Let's see. Ooh, two scents that I wish were back for voting. Snuggle Up and Shut Eye. So these were actually from the Catching Z's collection a few years ago. Um, did not see these available to vote for and bring my bar yet because it's only been a few years. And if I'm not thinking, if I'm thinking correctly, the scents for bring, my bar, bring back my bar voting are only scents that haven't been around for the last five years. So when these are available for Bring Up My Bar, I will vote for them like crazy because I think I removed Shut Off from my club. It was definitely, like, it was just time for it to go. Like, I had enjoyed it. I still love it. But Snuggle Up was definitely the one, like, my favorite one from that collection, period. So, that stays. That stays into my club. Um, we have Love and Kisses Mini, which was the first licensed Scentsy Bar to ever come back in club. Thinking of licensed, the Buzz Lightyear and the Woody fragrance for the wax were eligible to vote for in Bring My Bar. So I voted for Woody because I remember really loving him. I'm really surprised that we haven't had more Toy Story stuff come out. Or like we only had that one collection with the buddies and the fragrances. I'm really surprised that we haven't had more. But never know what Cincy is, you know, working on. But warmed a... Love and Kisses Mini, I think we actually warmed that in Maddie's room because once she realized that we had like Disney bars, she pretty much took all of my Disney ones and put them in her room. So I think that's why we warmed in there. Um, another Star Apple and Freesia. I think I have this warming right now. It's, I can't smell it anymore. It's time to change out the waxes. But I think that this is the four pack that I have right now. So Star Apple and Freesia and the Mango margarita from this inspirations that happened in february the mango margarita was definitely my number one favorite from that one i so far i have really loved the two inspiration collections that we've had with the vanilla bean buttercream last winter and the gogo -Go mango this past spring so i'm really hoping that since he continues to do that because there are so many possibilities that you can do taking one fragrance and making a whole wax collection based off that fragrance so many possibilities but i warmed those with the stitch and angel angel is actually my number one favorite between the two i love stitch y'all know he has a special place in my heart i literally changed up my coffee bar when we got back from mexico to a disney theme because i had i knew that we were having the stitch collection come out and the disney 100th celebration warmer so I'm just waiting on that warmer to arrive so that I can put it on my coffee bar too. But y'all know I love him. It's just, it's just not my favorite scent. Like it's great. It's a citrus, but this one is definitely, this is the one that stills my heart. Um, I did add this back to my club. I removed it for a little while, but now that it's back, I remember how much I love it. It is just delicious and fruity and creamy. 
but it has an amazing performance. So I love both of them, but Angel Experiment 624 is definitely my favorite. Last but not least, we have the July scent of the month. So this is the Tahitian, Tahitian Twilight. I have two of these and I actually warmed it with Plum and White Woods. So Plum and White Woods was a winter scent of the month a long time ago. And it was actually one that I wasn't in love with until like later on. Um, I didn't really care about it at first, but then I fell in love with it. And it was in Bring My Bar. And I probably would have clubbed it if I had remembered. But this is definitely the fall winter version. And this is the spring summer version. Like Tahit and Twilight literally reminds me so much of Plum and White Woods. So good. Such a great performance. It is the July scent of the month. It is 10% off. Go ahead and add it to your club if you fall in love with it. It's definitely a great one. But yeah, guys, that's it. That is everything that I have been warming over like the last month, month and a half, maybe. And next time, I promise, I will be more organized and I will sort them together so I can talk about what I warmed with what. It was just a very long month. And I mean, honestly, July is going to be even crazier with SFR and a bachelorette trip in Panama City in a couple of weeks. So I'll try. I'll do better. But that is it. Thank you for watching this video. If you watched the whole video, thank you so much. Um, that is a little sneak peek of what is to come in July. I would love to hear your opinions down below and what do you hope to see in this Harry Potter collection that we don't know what it is yet. And I would also love to hear down below what have you been warming and loving lately. But that's it. Thank you for watching. As always, don't watch me join me and have a great day.